Hello and welcome to the 23rd tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series. In this part we're going to be looking at adding a circle shape. We'll be using the source code from the third tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. SFML provides functionality to render shapes. We will be looking at how to create and draw a circle shape within SFML. Like a sprite, the shape needs to be declared, initialized and then drawn to the window. We're just going to go ahead and open up our project. First thing you need to do is declare and initialize our shape and for that we're going to do SF, the type of shape which we're going to be using is a circle shape, then the name of it, we're going to call it circle and now you just specify the radius of the shape. So I'm going to put 75, no actually what I'm going to put is 150. So the actual diameter will be the width of the screen, I mean half the width of the screen I should say, semicolon. And now the last step is to just draw this to the window. So window dot draw not display dot draw oh, didn't pop up. And now in here we just specify our shape. Then we'll put circle. Just run this in the and there we go. We have our circle appear. Circle shapes support the various features covered for sprites, which were setting the origin, setting the rotation, and setting the scale. It also supports setting the size or resizing it, but uh, the, this method is slightly different, so let's just go over it. The difference is, obviously, you don't just find X and Y, you just change the radius. So you just do the name of your shape, dot set radius, and I'm gonna put now 75. Now if we just rerun that, we have a smaller circle. I'm just gonna go back to the other one. Oh, let's put 200, so it's slightly bigger. There's one more thing I wanna show you. You may notice that the circular circle isn't, well, very circular. This is due to nothing in computer graphics being circular, but made up of loads of points and lines. We can, however, increase the point count. So if we go here and do, circle dot set point count and I'm just going to specify it. yeah it takes an integer and we'll put 300 just but before we run it just have a look what it looks like we have a circle and it's not very smooth if we just rerun this we get a circle which is a lot smoother uh, there's still a bit of jagged but that's going to be fixed in a future tutorial that is it for adding a circle shape in the next part of the series we're going to be looking at adding a regular shape aka something like a square or a triangle if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or just directly message us via youtube and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day